right, so I swept it as good as I possibly could um, with all the ridges and stuff like that. I definitely think I need to come back in with a sponge and water, soapy water, and really like clean inside here. But it doesn't look too bad. Check it out. I mean, it, it's just dirt that's stuck. But here is all of the rust that I'm gonna have to be dealing with. This is that side all swept up. So yeah, not looking too bad. I'm gonna go ahead and take a, the razor and cut that out. And then we only have just a few small rust spots over there. So all in all, I think that this isn't gonna be, you know, too much of a hassle to deal with the rust and, and such. It just sucks that I'm not gonna get the, the Rust-X stuff for a few more days so there's only like you know so much i can do but i'm gonna go ahead and take this and i'm gonna start working on that back corner of rust just to kind of give myself an idea of what that's gonna be like um will i get through with all of it today probably not but we'll see we'll see how it goes so let's get to it So I'm gonna go ahead and do this whole entire patch right here because it is gonna take me a second. But I will show you guys what it looks like in just a minute when it's done. It's another day on the bus build. Um, just got back from the gym. My hair is still really wet, but I'm ready to work. I got so much sanding done yesterday. Um, I don't really know if it's considered sanding, but I got a lot done yesterday. Let's check it out. <clears throat> so I went through all of this right here and I got as much rust out as possible. So as you can see right here, it's a pretty big difference. I'm gonna go over this again once I get through, but I'm still working on this area right here, which has definitely taken some elbow grease. But this second one right here, I went all the way down and it's actually looking very good. So I'm gonna get started here again and go all the way down. Once I'm through with that, I will start here once more and go all the way down here again before I work my way across here and along this other side. Once that is done, by then I will probably have the rest X delivered. Hopefully it'll be delivered by then and I can get that and get started on that so we can get these floors taken care of. I'm probably gonna come in here too with a wet soapy rag and really try and get all the dirt up and get this like really clean. So that's what we're working on today. It's a beautiful day here in Nashville and it's nice and toasty. Well, it's not really that hot in here, but it's hot enough for me to sweat a little bit. So I'm gonna go ahead and open the windows and that door, that window, 
get some air flowing in here. So I got a bunch of that done. I still have this side and then the rest of the bus over here. And then I'm done with grinding the rest down. Actually, I'll probably go over that spot over there. But other than that, I'm pretty much done with all the rest grinding and stuff. So I just did a live chat because I knew I wasn't gonna get a video this video out for you guys anytime soon because I'm still waiting on the rest decks from Home Depot to be delivered to Home Depot. Hopefully that happens sooner than later because I really want to get that done. But once I finish the rest tonight, I'm going to finish this side, re go over that side, and then tomorrow I'm going to come in with, um, well, I guess you'll just have to wait and see. So I'll see you in just a minute, but also like 13 hours. <laughs> All right, guys, another day. It's a new day still working on the same thing, the floors. So I literally, own, I only have this over here, this real small part of the floor left as far as the rust goes. And then I will lightly go over this part and in the corner over there. And I think once that's done, I pretty much will have the rest taken care of and then I can, um, what I plan to do is since I ordered that stuff from Home Depot and they don't have it in stock, I'm going to see if they have it at Lowe's tomorrow. If they do have it at Lowe's, I'm going to pick it up and cancel my order at Home Depot and just use that gift card from Greenhorn One Acre. Thank you so much for that. Um, I'm going to use that for other materials uh, for the flooring once I'm ready to start framing it and stuff. So right now, I am going to finish that and then hopefully today I'll get to it. I'm going to take a soapy rag and try and clean up the floor as best I can and also the walls. And then also I want to take out the driver's seat so I can get underneath and clean that as well and possibly take out the rubber that's up there too so I can clean that and just clean everything. Take some of this insulation that I have, take that down. So I'm hoping to get a decent amount of stuff done today and really get going on these floors so that I can just have the floors done and start insulating the walls and then then I can go up to the roof or to the ceiling and start there. 
So, oh, one thing too, I've been keeping my one Jackery solar panel up here on the dashboard. <clears throat> and I just turned my Jackery around, and as you can see, it's very slowly charging. We're at 20%. I'm not really using it for anything. I had my phone plugged in, um, my other phone, but I'm not using that. So I'm curious to see how long it takes to charge. This area right here doesn't necessarily get a whole lot of sun. So, I mean, if I were parked somewhere where it was real sunny and we were getting all sun here, it, I think it'd charge pretty fast. So that's what I was working on yesterday. I got a whole bunch of that done. I'm going to buff this out and get the rest over here, right here and over here. Like I said, I don't know if you could see it. So like I said, I'm also gonna get this, just go over that real lightly too. another day <laughs> um i was trying i was going to take out the seat yesterday my brother was going to help me but then we discovered that it's bolted from the under from underneath the bus and we don't have the right tool to get it out so i decided instead of taking it out i'm just going to work around it i looked underneath and really and truly it's not that big of a deal to clean it out um or clean out from underneath it without taking it out so that's what i'm going to do so i'm going to Try and get the rest of the rubber up from this side of the bus. And then I am going to um, take all the stuff out that I have in here. And then I'm gonna take the hose, spray it down in here, wipe it down, try and get as much dirt and stuff out of here as possible because the Rustex shipment came into Home Depot. So I need to go pick that up. My mom and I are about to go to the gym. I'm gonna pick that stuff up. By the time that's done, hopefully it'll be dry in here. It is a little bit chilly today but I'm hoping that it'll dry in time. Um, I, I, uh, I, I buffed out as much rust as I, as I could. It looks great in here. So I'm thinking it'll, it'll all go smoothly. It'll be fine. So right now I'm gonna work on that and then I'm gonna take everything out of here, take the hose in here. I got a towel and I'm gonna wipe it all down and get as much dirt out of here as possible. So yeah, let's get, let's get to it. <clears throat> This is why I'm taking the extra work and the extra time to really clean the bus out and make sure it's all good because look at all of these ants that is no bueno i don't know where they came from but there's so many of them so i gotta get those out so i took all that stuff out and pretty much um the ants came off the ants left with all of the black stuff that was on there that was underneath the rubber uh, I guess it was just kind of like a padding insulation type thing, but some of them fell off and they're around here and there. But for the most part, all of those ants are gone. There's still a little bit, 
So I'm gonna take the hose, spray everything out, and then spray some bug spray in here too. have it washed out I'm going to take some towels and dry the floor as best as I can and then let it dry while I go run some errands and then hopefully by the time I get back it's totally dry so we can start working on patching the hole or actually hopefully by the time I get done it's dry so we can put the rust X on it and get that going all right you guys I'm so excited the rust X came in I went and got it so that's the next thing that I'm going to do uh, the floor is completely dry I'm gonna lay this down and then let that dry and see what we have going on next. I think this is day three of working on getting this ready for this and then also just kind of waiting on it. So I'm gonna get started on doing that and I'm so excited to just have it done. All the rest has been buffed out as best as I possibly could. So now we're gonna do the rest X. So I ran out of memory while I was doing all of this, but what you guys didn't see is I, um, I finished the entire floor of the bust with the, the bust with the crud cutter rust, or not rust oil, and it's called crud cutter rustics, and that converts the rust and, so, and, and prevents future rust. So I did all of that, and then I came back and I, I did all of the front, including underneath the driver's seat and underneath all of the pedals in the front and on this up, upper corner of here. And now I'm going to let it dry and then I'm gonna look at it tomorrow, see if I need to go over it anymore. But I'm going to call it a day today for this task and I'm just so happy and so thankful to have it done. Now I can rest and I'm, s rest? Did I say rest? I meant rest. But I'm so excited that I get to start plug or filling in the holes and then start framing and insulating the floor. And pretty soon, and I mean very soon, we are going to have a floor in this bad boy. And I'm really excited. So that's it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, if you did and you haven't yet, make sure that you like this video. Subscribe if you are looking forward to the build because it is about to go up really, really fast. Like within the next few weeks, I think you guys are gonna be really blown away with how much progress is being made. So as always guys, I will see you guys on the next one.